Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Cancer and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next three months tarot reading. It will be for April to June 2024 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Cancer. What I've done is I've taken your yearly 2024 tarot reading, which I'll link below, and I've pulled out the relevant cards. In April we have the star, in May we have the Nine of Swords and in June we have the Queen of Pentacles. We're going to pull some additional cards by month, pull out any overarching energies as well as any individual ones because a lot can happen in one month, let alone three in different areas of our life. So to start with April we have the Six of Swords. You know I always like the Six of Swords because it, it just feels like we're we're moving in the right direction now. The worst is behind us. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what we have for May time. Four of Cups, Cancerian Energy. Page of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords. Let's see what we have, Cancer, with the Queen of Pentacles in June. Oh, lovely. We've got the Nine of Cups. Temperance. And we have the King of Swords. Somebody who's fair, honourable, ethical, right, true. Um, very good communicator as well. Can be somebody in authority. Or somebody who manifests as that. Male or female with the King of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, I feel this is likely your energy, interestingly enough. Queen of Pentacles can be um, abundant, can be also very positive in terms of health and healing issues. I mean, you could also be connecting with a Queen of Pentacles who might be help helping you on that basis. Yeah, if there were any kind of like... Um, I don't know why I have to say this now, maybe uh, it might be an additional thing. Certainly in terms of health issues, um, whatever steps that you're taking, I feel potentially April, May time, I think that you're getting the right kind of support and help that could be either for you or it could be, again, could be a member of a family or your other half, you know. Um, there's that feeling here, you might be getting the right support here, that's kind of bringing that everything back into balance and you feel like you're absolutely uh, bringing that sense of healing and recovery. You could be connecting to some kind of, um, again, medical professional, doctor, consultant. Anyway, <laughs> cancer. Uh, I mean, these are very positive cards. Let's see what we have for you in April time. The star comes after the tower in the major arcana. The tower can represent significant change uh, and change can happen in any area of our life with tower energies. Now remember towers can also be about winning the lottery um, but you know the towers can also be about sometimes an event happens, truth, revelation, um, someone's actions can be re really cause the tearing down of the old, significant change. It can affect any area of our life, health, family, 
relationship, money, uh, property, you know. So um, this is the star that comes in after change. And there is an opportunity to kind of move forward to blessings, to new blessings and wish fulfillment. And I do like the fact that you've got the two wish fulfillment cards in your reading. A kind of feeling that, um, and what it's telling you in that context is that a feeling that everything's going to be okay. A feeling that the storm is passing and this is that sense of renewal and new hope that's coming into your life April to June time. Um, powerful spiritual energy with the star card. Uh, for those of you who um, have faith, have been leaning on your faith, you might be more aware and more connected in terms of how spirit, God, the universe is helping you as well. Um, but yeah, this is just this is just sometimes we move forward in faith. There is new hope. We have reasons to feel optimistic and positive about how things are unfolding or positive in terms of the choices that we make in terms of how we move forward. But it's always telling you that you're moving forward to that sense of new blessings can be very powerful. These energies in terms of healing, uh, healing and recovery in really any area of life, um, because the six of swords is that feeling here. The worst is behind you and you finally feel that you're getting there. You're moving in the right direction now, you know, and that's the lovely energy here. It's a six, which always represents that sense of equilibrium things falling back into equilibrium, moving out of the choppy waters and moving towards calmer times. Four of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So it can represent sometimes waiting. Uh, the thing that you've persevered on, you might have looked at options and opportunities, uh, but you might be waiting to see what's happened next. You might feel something's moving in the right direction, but there is that sense of pause. And again, this is also a very powerful recovery energy. It can be catching your breath, having some kind of time to regenerate and recuperate. You know, this can be a powerful energy here, Cancer. But the Seven of Pentacles can be what you've put time and energy into. You might have persevered on a path. Uh, you're just feeling like you're you're moving in the right direction, but you're not quite there yet. You know, this is it feels good and I'm I'm feeling new hope here. But I'm just kind of like waiting to see what happens next. Um, and it's just that sense here. It could be to do with now this can be with the pentacle energy. It could be to do with money. Seven of pentacles can also be about relationships, uh, the potential of healing in relationships or even things like health issues. Something might just have been hard work um, and you might have persevered on a path, you know, uh, but you might be waiting to see what happens next. So. This can just be very powerful energy, money, health, healing areas. But you're being told that there are blessings and wish fulfillment coming your way. The Nine of Swords is, but we're not sure yet. Now, if this is a request to heal, the Nine of Swords, something's caused you stress, uncertainty, worry, a lack of clarity where you're unsure. You're unsure maybe even if healing can take place because you've been hurt, the Three of Swords. Three of Swords can be very powerful in terms of, of um, uh, hurt on some level, emotional pain, painful truths, third party situations, betrayal. I mean, there's levels to this, um, but it just feels here, Cancer, that something has caused you emotional pain here and you've been you've almost kind of like either been persevering on a path to turn it around or for others of you, you've been really kind of considering whether healing can really take place if you have been hurt uh, by another person. So this is the energy here. If it's the latter, the Four of Cups is someone's reaching out asking for forgiveness, likely. This can be a peace offering, a gesture, a heartfelt gesture to start over. Can we plant new seeds? Can we cultivate a new path? Can we just give it a go, start a new path? Again, this can be, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if if I can. Now, for those of you, there's also healing energy come June time with the Nine of Cups, maybe trying to find a way to get the happiness back in some way. Again, Queen of Pentacles can also be very, help, very uh, healing energies. This is either somebody is wanting to prove things to you or wanting to make something right. Again, that could be somebody manifesting as the King of Swords. 
I, I want to make this right. Uh, give me a chance. We can get the happiness back. Um, you won't regret it. I promise, you know, we can build back up. You know, this can be that kind of energy here. It might also be that you, like I said at the beginning of the reading, there could be some kind of professional uh, counselling. Uh, I mean, you would kind of like see this kind of energy as a marriage counselling as well. Um, you know, professional advice and guidance. If, if it was to do with something that caused you hurt by someone's behavioural pattern, it might well be tapping into getting it sorted out in some way. Um, you know, this can be that kind of energy here. So it might well be that you're connecting to some, have the potential to to find the right solution, the right advice with some kind of independent person or entity that helps you uh, get back on track as well. But these energies can just be between you. And again, however this manifests, this could be friendship, family, love, romance. Um, this is all to play for here, certainly in terms of healing energies in particular. Uh, like I said, for others of you, it could well be some kind of health or health issue, um, whether it's um, whether it's mental, emotional or physical. I mean, the same kind of message applies here, Cancer. It might well be that you're going through some kind of process where you feel that you're finally getting somewhere, but it's just taking its time. And again, there's just a level of kind of uh, stress that's going, I've got, you're going through this whole process. I do feel June is a real kind of significant time where there is a turning point, certainly in terms of health and healing issues, um, in terms of medical, um, professional, you know, that kind of thing. So... Let's have a look. I mean, in terms of money areas, I've kind of spoken about money areas. I mean, this is all about persevering on a path to really get somewhere and feeling that you're, you might be saying, you know, again, the Six of Swords can be about moving from difficulty to calmer waters. It can actually be about moving from A to B. Um, so it might well be that you're in the transition, transition stage of either moving from difficulty, however that manifested for you, um, could be even difficulty in a workplace and wanting to find another job. So this can be that kind of scenario here. The Nine of Swords is a level of, of oh, you know, uncertainty. And sometimes when things isn't happening as, as quickly as we want it to, we can be a little bit in our own head, you know, just bear that in mind here, Cancer, as well. Um, because the, the Four of Cups can actually be, uh, with the Three of Swords, it could be someone offering you help and support uh, through a difficult time. So don't do this all on your own. If you're worried about something and it's really preying on your mind, it might well be that there's an opportunity to talk it out with somebody who might be asking for help, who might be offering support in some way. This can be a pretty powerful energy here, Cancer, um, because we can get disappointment and hurt and letdowns and, and emotional pain in any area of life. The Page of Pentacles, however, can be very positive in terms of the practical world. This is generally very good news. Uh, so the, pen, the Page of Pentacles can be very positive in terms of, of good news to do with uh, the beginnings of something new in money, career, finances, property, real estate. Uh, so it can be very positive on that basis here, Cancer. It can just be that sense of what you've been putting time and energy into. And it's been it's been persevering and a little bit frustrating here. I think you're going through some kind of emotional pain of some kind here um, and really wanting to put difficulty behind you and feeling that there is new hope here. But there's almost kind of sense of when's it going to happen? I do think that there is some kind of message coming in that will give you heart. Um, it just is a new, that sense of, of the, the, the door just beginning to open up for you with communication coming in. Now, it might also be with a page of pentacles. This is very good in also starting new things. So you might decide to start something new in uh, of the practical world in, in May time. It can be very good in terms of new projects, initiatives, new business ideas, just finding out how you can start something. You know, it can be very positive on that basis. As an additional energy, it's also very good in terms of uh, internships, apprenticeships, um, learning new skills, uh, quality, you know, getting new training, new um, 
educational courses, um, adding a string to your bow, professional qualifications. This can be that kind of scenario here. And it might well be that there's some kind of help or support that's offered to you to do that. You know, uh, you know, I know you're going through a difficult time. So if you want to do this, I'll support you. You know, I'll support you doing this if that you feel that it's the right thing for you to do. This can be that kind of energy here, Cancer. I, you know, the energies in June, I love seeing temperance because temperance is everything is falling back into balance. Um, you know, you're finding a way to just kind of uh, finding that kind of bringing things back into almost kind of alignment back into balance here. Having gone through some kind of real difficult time and difficult energies, this is just, it all feels like, you know, you're finding that sense of balance again. Um, so yeah, this just feels very positive. Like I said, it can be very good in terms of uh, finding a way to heal, work things out between people. This can be a very positive energy as well on that basis. But I think that you're just finding, yeah, I'm find you're finding the right kind of balance here in in certainly in June time. And Queen of Pentacles can be financial, can be somebody who is influential in terms of money, career, finances. This could be the person that is bringing in the message, for example, in money, career, financial areas as well. Queen of Pentacles, even as your energy represents somebody who understands how to bring growth and abundance. Uh, very patient energy, very methodical, but understanding that you have all the practical resources that you need to manifest stability and security and success. This is the energy here um, with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, could also be, like I said, a person who is bringing that into you. Uh, very positive in terms of money areas in particular. Um, and very good also in terms of recovery um, in money areas, money career, financial areas. Because the Nine of Cups is you're getting your wish. You're getting exactly what you want. It's just a lovely energy and there, there can be reasons to celebrate here cancer it's lovely to see i don't know if i said this at the beginning of the reading but it's lovely to see the star and the nine of cups in a reading because it generally indicates that there are blessings coming your way that there is a wish to be fulfilled um that the the more positive energies are coming your way but sometimes we have to have faith for a period of time and this is it. This is it actually being manifested. The Nine of Cups is getting what you want. There's reasons to celebrate. Uh, you know, it can be about achievement, success, accomplishment, um, abundance, getting to the place where you want to be. This is the energy here, Cancer. And feeling that sense of balance once more. Again, the King of Swords uh, can be somebody who is an authority, can be a leader, could be an intermediary. This is somebody who's generally very, uh, very educated, very intellectual, very well versed. Uh, so very, very knowledgeable, um, not necessarily warm and fuzzy. If you're meeting a King of Swords in business, for example, in authority, this is somebody who is likely um, very direct, uh, a little bit direct in terms of how they talk, but they're very fair energy. They're very fair. Uh, they're very knowledgeable. They're very insightful. Um, so they would likely make their mind up very quickly if this person was making a decision or you were having a conversation with them. So again, could be like one or two people. This person could be bringing news or communication. Um, but either way here, Cancer, it just feels that sense of everything is coming together. Certainly in June time, there is that sense of new happiness, feeling that things are back in balance in some way. Um, having gone through, you know, having worked together here, get here, that's what I'm seeing here. So Cancer, that's what I have for you in, yeah, in uh, April to June time. So I'm going to pull some additional messages. What do we have for Cancer? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for the next three months. Yeah, we have change. I mean, this is what I was saying coming into the reading. There's been change. So we have number 12. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new.
I also want to point out here, Cancer, the additional meaning um, of the Six of Swords. It can be linked with travel as well. Um, so there may well be some kind of important trip that you might be going on in April as well. Or you might be thinking about it. I'm going to pull you a fortune cookie. What do we have for Cancer? Thank you. Next three months. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Yeah, the cards are a little bit shiny. They don't always scan in as well. I'm going to pull you a Sacred Destiny card. What do we have for Cancer? Destiny card for Cancer for the next three months. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Two cards. We have Wisdom. Oh, no, it's just one card. I don't know why I said two. <laughs> one card. We have Wisdom. So I like the picture because you're a water sign and it does really tie in with your element, this picture. So the picture shows the depths of the sea. Things are not as they seem. Look beneath the surface in your life. For example, you might feel that you aren't making progress on a particular project, yet beneath the surface things are happening. Or you might be going through a stormy cycle. This card is letting you know that even though the surface of your life might be a bit rocky or wobbly, in a deeper place all is well and serenity and peace are emerging. Things that may seem challenging, things that seem challenging may later be revealed as having been beneficial. Let's pull you a spirit message for the next three months. What do we have for Cancer? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message from Spirit. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. You know what I was saying? Have faith. You know you're moving towards wish fulfillment and then there's that wish fulfillment card there in June. We've got synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Lovely. Okay, what do we have as a final affirmation for Cancer? Thank you. Let's pull a final affirmation for Cancer. That flew out. Everything happens according to divine timing for the best results. Cancer, that's what I have for you for the next three months. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next three months. I will see you next time.